Do you know what a 10-year plan looks like for an overseas basketball player? Are you a rookie? Are you just starting out and you don't know what it looks like to go 10 years playing overseas basketball and how much you should be making around that time? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down what I believe the start of what a 10-year plan should look like. Welcome guys to Keys to the Game. In this segment, I'm going to be going over what the 10 year plan should look like for the start. My name is Arnold Lewis of the Arnold Stars Podcast. Let's get into it. So I was having a conversation with one of my fellow hoopers. He's playing right now in Argentina. His name is Jerry Evans. Y'all go check him out. Absolute great player. Me and him have a lot of dialogue and conversations about what we believe. Just the game. We talk so much playing in this game for so long you start just breaking down and analyzing what it is the things that you should look for and what a path should look for for any player starting out so we we're breaking down a 10-year plan what is a 10-year plan because we're i'm coming upon 10 years this is my 10th season and i'm gonna tell you right now for all the money that was equated compared to what is now doesn't add up it does not add up all the money that I've made in the start of my career to the 10 year mark. It does not add up. Now I take full responsibility for that, for not being financially intelligent. Fi not being financially literate. That is on me. Mismanage of funds, bad investments, just not being attentive with my money when it comes to what I equated with and what I grossed and what I netted and what I should have in the years that I've played. So over a 10-year span, you want to have benchmarks. One year to three years. Three years to five years. Five years to seven years. Seven years to 10 years. And in that time period, you want to have certain marks at which you want to reach. For example, between one to three years, an average rookie salary, if you're playing for about eight months. So we just kind of going through this. So let's just say from one to three years, you're not going to make the same amount and you play consistently. You're not going to make the same amount the first year that you did the second year. Your money might go up, then it might go down. And I think where the problem comes in, most guys only want their money to continuously go up should always go up. Yeah, I had a good season. We didn't win. We got out of the first round of the playoff. Nobody cares. Once you start looking at your business and you have your benchmark for the number that you set for yourself and are you reaching that number, that is the only thing that matters. So we kind of broke it down a little bit. So if you are the base salary, I would say for a rookie from one to three years is about 2,500. We're gonna use 2,500 a month for three years on average. So if you're making 2,500 a month in three years with, let's say, because every season is not the same. Some season you might play five months, some you might play, play three months. So we're gonna do eight months out of the year. 2,500, eight months out of the years, three years consistently. You will should be at about $60,000 made over a three-year span. Over a three-year span, you should have made about $60,000. If you had killed a consistent $2,500 on average, some years it might be up. You might get $3,500. Some years somebody might offer you two. Some year, one season, a guy might, a team might offer you $25. There's so many good go goes on in between that. So you want to just have the base of 2,500, eight months, three years. That should be your goal. 2,500 a month, eight months a year, three years consistently, you should have grossed $60,000. You want to save, have saved about $20,000. Within that, amount of, that time period, you should have made about 60,000 gross and should have saved 20,000, a third of that. You should be able to save a third. That gives you three years to live off of $40,000 with no rent, 
um, food covered, transportation covered for eight months out of the year. Once you start breaking the game down strategically, because most guys, their issue is that they think that I should be at this set number predeterminedly because of what I believe. It doesn't matter what you believe. It's what the market is giving you. It's whatever market you're in and what is what you can negotiate the best to fit your criteria of the number that you have set for yourself pre-existing. But a lot of guys don't have a number because no one has never said, hey, what is your number that you should be at over this time period? No one ever talks about that. No one ever brings up, hey, you should be at this amount. And based on the trajectory of your, your growth, you should change agents around this mark. You should be at least up to this amount. So based on if you went from 2500 to, okay, your base salary should be around now 3500 to 4500 for the next three years. So about four bands should be my $4,000, should be my next part, my next goal of where I should be averaging for the next three to five years. And then I get that number and I should be able to save a third of that to add. We have to start being more strategic in the way we look at the game as a business aspect to how we get the most out of our money, out of our time, and our growth. Because you're going to, there's so much advantages to playing the game of basketball, which is, like I said, the free time. That gives you time to learn something to prepare for next. That gives you time to know how to learn and get financial literacy and learn to, and what to invest that money that you're saving because you're not just saving it in the bank to st stand there and look at it and say how pretty it is and look what i've been able to save hey look guys i got eighty thousand dollars in the bank but inflation is eating up my money and the dollar is constantly going down and we think we're doing something by looking at it no we're saving that to get financial literacy and learn and get a skill so we can take that money and invest it. So all this money that we've been accumulating as basketball players for all these years, we're going to make that money, make us more money with the time that we have, that we got the new skill, that we implemented the money that we earned. So we can use this game to propel us when it's over with. And now we have something to stand on. And we use this game of basketball as a baseline, as a structure to propel us in the next phase of our life. That's, the, that's where our mindset needs to go towards. And once we start focusing on these issues and these goals that we have set for our 10-year plan, now we start to think more of just not the common player, but our lives, because this is our lives. And we need to learn how to manage that to build our life after this. We don't thinking about the life after this. We're only thinking in the moment. That's the start of what you start. Be honest with yourself. No, ask guys around you. Ask other teams. Do your strategic research and see what you are marketed as. Talk to agents. Talk to other agents. See what they see. What you are getting from your jobs and base that from a one to three, three to five, seven to ten years. And know what you and you should be, be able to save a third of each one of those. A third that gives you two thirds to live off of, enjoy, do whatever you need to do. Honestly, two thirds of that because you have so many things taking care of you your housing, your um, food, your transportation. You have so much time to learn something to put that money to use for you. Listen. That's all I got for this segment of Keys to the Game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please follow and send it to someone that might benefit from this. That's all I got. Remember, greatness is a habit, not a right. I'm out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.